Sky News has learned that George Osborne is considering plans to levy capital gains tax on foreigners who buy property in the UK. According to the estate agent's Knight Frank, half of all sales of £1 million plus homes in central London were to foreign buyers in the year until June. Uh, prices in the capital have risen by just under 10% this year. At the moment, non-resident property owners don't have to pay any capital gains tax on a profit when they sell. Well, earlier I spoke with Ed Mead, director of Douglas and Gordon Estate Agents. He runs their branch in Chelsea, one of 18 in the capital. He told me six in ten homes that he sells go to foreign buyers. Well, I don't buy their concern, actually. I have to say, if you look at... Uh, for instance, the last year, the land registry figures show that the prices are up in central London by under 10%, 9.7%. I'm not saying that's not a lot of money, but it's nothing like the bubble that's being talked about. The right move asking price debark to them saying that asking prices were up 10% in a in month, a month yeah. is more a reflection of the fact that a lot of agents chasing not a lot of property in central London. So I don't think one wants to buy too much into that. The market is healthy, but it's not a bubble. British Property Federation says a capital gains tax could be counterproductive. Well, joining me now is Chief Executive uh, Liz Pearce. What's not to like here? We heard the evidence. Uh, foreign buyers in Chelsea forcing up prices in London and even beyond the government's right to take action, isn't it? Well, we'd all like prices to be lower, but I don't actually think penalising the people who can afford to buy what's there is the way to do it. Actually, what we need to do is increase supply. Just listening to your, uh, your previous speaker, it's too many people chasing too little property. So the thing is to actually build more houses. But the government's doing that, isn't it? Or it's trying to, the government isn't physically doing it, it's <laughs> trying to encourage the private sector and your members yes, absolutely. Uh, to do it. Um, do you agree there's a, pra uh, a problem with the way which prices are rising in London and South East? Do you share that anxiety that the, the market may be overheating? Uh, I, I think it is an anxiety that play, uh, homes are so expensive in London. And I mean, you've got to see that as a problem for London's economy. Uh, if somebody like Google is trying to employ, you know, lots of bright young things to, to further their business, where are they going to live? Uh, if prices get too expensive, you know, the likes of Google would want to move away. So we've got to, we've got to try and provide more supply. Uh, hmm. for the folk who want to live in London. Uh, this, this ticks the fairness test, though, doesn't it? I mean, British people have to pay capital gains tax when they buy homes in France. Why shouldn't the French have to pay capital well, gains tax? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not necessarily condoning the, the current tax arrangement. What I would be very against was any knee-jerk reactions. You know, suddenly an announcement that we're going, to, we're going to change something that's actually existed since 1965. So whether you think it's fair or not, that is the current situation. So putting the CG, uh, capital gains tax on would amount to a tax on on foreign investment. If you do that, then you're going to spook the foreign investors. Okay. Liz Pierce, Chief Executive of the British Property Foundation, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on that. That's all for me. Plenty more next hour.